for thousands of students from India, Pakistan, Philippines, Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon who came to Canada with the hope of achieving their Canadian dream, that hope is sadly gone. That is because they spend so much money studying in colleges they shouldn't have studied. Don't be a victim. people welcome to Choco Melonea. In today's edition, I bring you a whole lot of resources in terms of information that can make your quest to move to Canada a bit more clearer and more accurate as well. Do you know that one of the mistakes a lot of people, actually thousands of people make if they decide to study in Canada is to pick the wrong schools. You had me right. You see, for you to study in a Canadian institution here, um, you, you have to make sure that some things exist or the school you want to study actually meets certain requirements. Now, in Canada, schools are either public institutions or private institutions. And if you have plans of actually studying in one of these institutions, especially if it is a post-secondary institution, you want to make sure that that institution actually has two requirements in place. One, that it has a designated learning institution number, simply called DLI. And two, you also want to make sure that that school has actually been accredited to run courses that lead to you acquiring your postgraduate work permit, simply called PGWP. Your postgraduate work permit is actually the permit that allows you to continue to stay in Canada when your school days are over or when you graduate so that you are able to work full-time or part-time or even set up a business and this is one of the videos i will encourage you to watch all the way to the end because it's just going to be full of information for you to make your journey just easy for you okay i'm going to be also including in this particular video a whole tutorial on how you can actually check every school to see whether that school offers the uh, programs that leads to postgraduate work permit. So you want to make sure you stick through the entire video, all right? Do you know that for many students who actually go on Google and type cheap, cheap colleges or affordable colleges in Canada, often get roped into applying to the wrong schools? Yes. Now, let me shock, shock you by giving you my top 10 colleges from Ontario to other provinces where you may choose to study and even go ahead and get your visa approved. But sadly, you can never get your postgraduate work permit, which is the most important document to allow you to continue to stay in Canada after your study. Number one on my list will be Can College. Can College is actually a career college in Ontario. Now, this college, for some reasons, I don't know how they did it, when you go on Google, will rank as one of the most researched colleges in the whole of Canada. Maybe because they have low tuition, or maybe because they can offer you admission without application fees. I just don't know. But what I know is, if you study in this college, you can never get your postgraduate work permit. What I'm trying to say is that you don't go figure your papers, so my guy. You go figure go study for there. They go figure give you visa when you go to Canada. But if you finish your studies for there, where you pay all the school fees, you cannot get your postgraduate work permit. In my opinion, I'm not saying that Khan College is a fake institution. That's not what I'm saying with the schools. They are not fake, all right? They are actually accredited to operate as private career colleges. But they, you just cannot study there and use that to actually get your postgraduate work permit. Do you know why? Private colleges or private institutions that are post-secondary are actually not funded by the government. 
it is only public institutions that are funded by the government. And because public institutions are funded by the government, they actually run courses that lead to postgraduate work permit. Quebec is the only province in the whole of Canada where private colleges or institutions were allowed or given that kind of room. I'm actually going to do a whole video on Quebec, so make sure you stay tuned for my next video on Quebec and how you can also avoid making this mistake with Quebec. In short, Cannes College is a legit college in Canada. They are allowed to bring in international students. They are allowed to recruit students from anywhere. However, they do not run programs that lead to postgraduate work permit. So you might want to check it off as a school to avoid. Next on my list is this beautiful school, Toronto School of Management. Remember, don't make the mistake. There are two of them. There is Toronto School of Management, and then there is Toronto School of Management, Niagara College. They are not the same. Both of them have their designated learning institution numbers, DLI, but you will not be able to get your postgraduate work permit if you study in one of them. The one to avoid is this very one, Toronto School of Management. In fact, as I speak with you right now, I have two individuals one from Nigeria and one from Ghana, who both studied in Toronto School of Management and completed. In fact, one of them is actually engaged in a legal back and forth with them. Why? They got their visas approved all right, came to Canada, were hoping to study, finish, migrate from that and become a permanent resident. But that dream is gone now. Why? because Toronto School of Management does not offer courses leading to postgraduate work permit. You might want to make sure you avoid the school if you're applying. Even if they give you free application fee and they tell you that the school fees, they can break it down, just avoid it. Run, run baby, run. You get that? By the way, if you're watching this video and you're enjoying it, make sure you smash the like button and make sure you also subscribe so that whenever I drop these bangers, you can get them. All right, the next school on my list is a school that came to my wife just some few days ago. My wife's friend in Ghana was just about going forward to apply for a visa and admission and what have you with the school and decided to check with my wife. So my wife asked me, and I didn't say no word. I just said a screenshot to my wife and said, send it back to the person. This next on my list is Evergreen College. So just like Can College, Evergreen College is also in Ontario. Sadly, you can get admitted to this school. You can even get your visa approved, but you won't be getting your postgraduate work permit, as I have shown on the screen here. So I encourage you to avoid evergreen college as well all right then i want to go to other provinces as well all right now when i go out I, let's let's look at this school here look on the screen right now when you look at Kayin college in new finland you notice that this school has a designated learning institution number all right but on the right hand side it does not run courses leading to postgraduate work permit so even if the tuition is so affordable and they allow you to apply for admission without paying a fee, just remember, you could be shooting yourself in the process. I'm probably thinking right now, somebody's asking, Choco, wait a minute, I'm in this situation right now. I'm currently in Canada or I've gotten my visa. I'm about to come. Will it create any problems for me? Yeah, potentially, yes, if your plan is to stay in Canada beyond your studies to get your papers. But wait a minute, is there a way out for me? Yes, there is a way out. I'm going to advise you guys on what to do if you find yourself in this situation before it is too late. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. Hit the like button right now and make sure you're subscribing as well so that yours truly can actually give you all these bangers one day after the other, all right? The next school, aside from Ken College, will be in Nova Scotia. And this college is none other than Eastern College. Now, Eastern College is a legit school. Eastern College is recognized. Eastern College can bring in international students. 
they have a designated learning institution number as you can see on the screen however just like all the other private career colleges you will never get your postgraduate work permit if you study in this particular college so please run baby run you understand run baby run thank you very much now the next one that i want to talk about aside from eastern college will be in british columbia where we have vancouver now guess what this college is called canadian college of technology and business canadian college of technology and business simply shortened as cc TB. CCTB is also a private career college. You can actually study there because it's legit. The visa officer can approve your visa for you if you have the right documents, including your proof of funds. You can actually come in, the immigration officer will pass you. However, after studying, you'll be in the same situation that several thousands of others are in. You won't get your immigration papers to stay on a postgraduate work permit. So please, run baby run from this particular college all right i can go on and give you a whole list now now i want to just include a slide of all these particular schools just look at them on the screen what do you see in common on the right hand side now notice what you're seeing there right on the left hand side these schools that you're seeing right now all have designated learning institution number on the right hand side you notice that why it says eligible for PGWP, you are saying no, 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 and no, and no, and no. Why? You can study there. They have a DLI. They're legit. They're registered. They're private career colleges, but you can get your papers. Simple as that. All right? And make sure you watch this video, which actually shows you how you can check not only the DLI of school which is designated learning institution number but also whether this school actually has what it takes to offer postgraduate work permit to you opportunities to you when you are done remember the school itself does not offer the postgraduate work permit it is canada's immigration that offers that however you ought to have studied in a school that is approved to run courses leading to pgwp also remember if you want to use this particular tutorial video you're watching right now you must always know the name of the school and the province of the school. The province the school is in. If you don't know the province, it will be a very hard thing for you to actually put in the name of the school and just pop up. You always will need to know the province. So go on Google and type the name of the school and then add address, all right, or location. It will tell you which location or province this school is. All you need is to come and enter the province, for example, Ontario. And then start typing some few keywords about the school in the filter box there. You are all good. All right. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you drop your comments. Let me know what you like me to do videos on as well. All right. And I will be serving you real hot bangers every single day. And be also a subscriber and tell a friend about this channel as well. For now, it is Chaka Milonia telling you to run, baby, run from all these schools. If your plan is to stay in Canada after study. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.